Hi, I'm Barb from KnittedKnockers.org, and I'm here with my good friend Lorene, the quality queen for Knitted Knockers, and we are filming a video on how to size knockers. We find that, you know, sizing can be a bit of an art rather than a science, just kind of like when you buy your shoes. Sometimes it can be a challenge to buy them online or your pants. In my case, I like to think I can wear a 10 and when I can find a 10, woohoo, they're mine. But other times it's a 12 or a 14 or we won't even go from there. So anyway, I think we might find that in buying bras and such. I don't think I'm all that unique in that case. So sizing, we want to do the best we can. And so we have sized a lot of knockers, haven't we, Lorraine? Thousands. Yes, and we send them out, and you know what amazes me is how few we get back, uh, or people saying that they were too big or too yeah. small. So we're going to share our tips with you today on how we size knockers. Now, um, our patterns have on them a stuffed diameter, like for instance, I'm looking at our new bottoms up knocker pattern but all of our patterns have been changed to mention this sizing. It says a D cup stuffed diameter equals six inches across. So what does that mean? Stuffed, how stuffed, and diameter. Where is diameter? And how are we gonna know when we're knitting the pattern what the stuffed diameter is when we're just knitting the knocker? Exactly. Those are all challenges. And you know, I just wanna point out why we can't say what the unstuffed diameter is because uh, some people knit looser than others. In fact, talk about gauge. Oh my gosh, it's so important. Gauge, when I look at a pattern, that's the first thing I look at, is where is the gauge? Well, the gauge is six stitches equal one inch. Well, what does that mean? That's for the size four needles. Right, now if you're using a size five needle, five stitches equal an inch. There's a whole stitch difference. Um, and you think, well, that's not very much, just a stitch. Sometimes it's a half a stitch, but when you make that in a, to a diameter, that could be up to a half inch. And that's why you get jokes about a sweater you made with the arms that drag on the ground. <laughs> or it would fit your two-year-old grandson when you get it made because you didn't follow the gauge. Now, um, needle size. I mean, my goodness, maybe your favorite needles are this size. These are a size That's 100. That's what I need because I knit really tight. <laughs> yeah, not, not this big. <laughs> These are a size 100 and the yarn that goes with it is like huge. So, um, needle not size... Not an approved yarn. <laughs> no. <laughs> Find the approved yarns at knittedknockers.org. There you go. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> but, um, maybe your favorite needle is a six and our pattern calls for a four or a five. It does make a difference, the gauge. So you need to knit to the gauge whatever size needle it takes. So like I'm a tight knitter, and if I'm using a size four needle, I may need to go up to a size five to mm -hmm. get that gauge. But you're a knitter, you know about gauge, we're just emphasizing the importance of it. And one more thing, maybe you're a really tight knitter. Maybe you need to use a size six needle to get five stitches to the inch. Use whatever size needle you need to get the gauge that the pattern calls for, and then you're gonna have any problem. So if you knit that gauge, then what the pattern says for a size D. D cup stuffed diameter equals six inches across. But look what else it says, how many stitches you need per needle. So if you're knitting to gauge, you should end up with a D if you end up with the number of stitches per needle it says. Yep. And then when you stuff it, if you've knit to gauge, it should be pretty darn close. But look what happens, even if you've knit to gauge. A loose knit versus a tight knit is gonna make a world of difference. Yep. Like right here, if we were to measure this knocker on a, a, let's have a ruler here, and let's measure it. I'm gonna measure it from the tip of the triangle straight across the back. Now this is unstuffed. This is not what you're going to do to size a knocker. I'm just using this for illustration. So I'm looking at this and look at that's five inches across. That's why we can't measure it when it's on the needles. But once this loosely knit, this was the exact same size knocker was stuffed. Whoa, that's six inches across now. 
Okay, now that's the same knocker. It's now, stretched out. I counted the stitches and it's 28 stitches, which should make a C cup if it was according to gauge. But what did it make? Because it's loose, it was six inches, which is a D cup. So you think you knit a C cup, but in reality, it's a D cup because of gauge. Now, do we care? We don't because, well, we do care because this is very loose, but we don't measure a knocker until it's stuffed and we then size it and send it on its way. But uh, if you're knitting to order, let's say your neighbor needs a pair of B's and if you knit her a pair of D's, that's not gonna work. So you wanna actually knit a, a B for her. So you're gonna have to find out what your gauge is. How many stitches to the inch you knit? All right, so we've created these little tools to help you in measuring your stuffed knockers, okay, for sizing purposes. So let's say we've got this purple knocker right here and it's all stuffed, beautifully stuffed, slightly overstuffed because women can, some women can be concave. The back is left open beautifully so that it can be adjusted. Um, this is a beautifully knit knocker. But what size is it? So we need to measure this. And some are confused about what diameter is. It's not, it's not a round. It's not this way. It's from the point. One bottom point. Straight across the back to the midpoint of the opposite side. Yep. So because it's kind of a triangle, you've knitted on three needles or crocheted, by the way, we've got crochet too. It measures the same. Okay. So this one, straight across the back, is six inches. So what is six inches on our pattern? It says a D cup stuffed equals six inches across. Now we've also created this wonderful handy dandy little chart, which is downloadable on our website at the how-to page with the patterns, knittedknockers.org. Now, it says that a size D is six inches. If I don't have a ruler, can I just measure it this way? Yes, I can. Start with the point at the bottom, roll it on up, and there it is, six inches. That Perfect. means it's a D, and guess what? This one even says it's a D because we have gotten smart. <laughs> sort of. We size so many, we sent out 500, no, 400 knockers this week. Yep. And sizing those is time consuming because people that mail them to us unstuffed, we don't ask them to size them because how are they gonna know? They're not stuffed yet. And so when they send them to us, we need to size. So we created some sample ones. Once we know an A, a B, a C, a D, and a double D, we all we have to do is grab the knocker and go, oh, this is a B. We don't have to measure every single one. And also, I want to say that sometimes we'll take and measure from the corner, the very corner, and just roll it up on itself. And there's the seam. And there it is. And it's only about a, a half inch or quarter inch difference in sizes. So. It's a half inch, half inch for each size until you get to the big, big right. sizes, and then that's so different. roll it up on this one and see. Okay, this is the, a B. The way difference. We've decided this is B, right? And that this is a C, so or a B I'm, and a C. Yep. Okay. And see, it's just there. It is. It's yep. about a half of an inch. Yep. Difference there. So you'll see that. So if you're going to be sizing a lot of knockers, if you're filling orders for us or you're making a lot of knockers, I suggest that you make a sample set of A, B, C, D, double D and have them all laid out so you don't have to measure every one of these suckers because boy, they can, they can be time consuming. Yeah. Now, what if you have one that's in between? Like this one is a little baby a little, guy. A little bit small. So I would call that an A minus. This is our A sample. That's a little small. Now, what do we do when we get somebody that says, I'm a 38C? Well, we think 38 is the band size and C is the uh, cup size. That's probably really a C. But what about if we get a 50A? A 50A, we would go. We wouldn't send her this little one. 
uh, we'd probably send her a small bee. Right, because it's kind of a judgment call, it just really like is. those shoes that don't quite fit, yep. you know? Um, you've got a lot more girth to come around, but yet you don't need a lot more volume. So it, once again, it's a bit of a an art rather than a science. Yep. There's such a thing uh, as sister sizing I learned about. And in researching that, there's a whole adjustment to size charts that really does kick in on the larger sizes. Um, once you get above a C. Um, but once again, that's a bit of an art. Um, we're not going to send somebody that says that they are a, a 30 triple D. We're probably not going to send them a triple D. Right. We're probably going to send them a smaller, maybe a D yeah. or whatever. Um, we do the best we can. And we're just encouraging you as well to do the best you can. And giving the best advice that we can give you is to carefully determine an A, B, C, D, and double D. And then have those available for your sizing. And once you know what works for you, your size and exactly. your gauge, um, um, then you can write down how many stitches. We have right. knitters that do that, that say, oh, I know I want to knit a bunch of bees, and that's this many stitches for me. Mm -hmm. Not what the pattern says, but it's this many for me because right. I'm a little off gauge yeah. or I'm using a different weight or, of yarn exactly. uh, for that size of needles. Only approved yarns, though, I want to say that. And I'll have people uh, ask me about, well, how many stitches do does it take to make a, an H? Well, I won't tell them because my H may have fewer stitches than your H, uh, but it, in reality, is the same size. So that's why gauge is so important. Find out how you knit, what, what it makes a difference for the way you knit, and what kind of material you're using. It really does make a difference. So I have another picture here that I haven't shown. You may have noticed that. That's another tool that we'll have available online where you can actually lay your knocker, your stuffed knocker on there and measure it that way. This says that it's five and a half inches when I lay it out on this chart. And guess what it says? It's a C. And look what our label says. Woohoo! It, it, it says is. C. It's awesome. So um, that's another way that you can, you can uh, check your sizing, whichever works for you visually. Uh, we want to have the tools to help you. Now, one other thing. What sizes do we need? And do we care that you've sized them correctly? If you're sending them to us, we don't care. We just need pairs of yeah. all sizes. Yeah. For a while, we needed a bunch of Ds and double Ds. So I said, please send Ds and double Ds. And then all we got were Ds and double Ds. And then we were out of Bs. So then I said, please send Bs. And now we've got a gazillion Bs and no Ds and double Ds. So send pairs both the same size as Lorene said just knit the same number of stitches the same color yep. neutral colors you can have fun on the back with the bright colors go a couple rows in but how do you so, say <laughs> yes sorry <laughs> um, go a couple rows in before changing colors or on the back make yeah. sure there's a couple rows before transitioning I mean to transition so it doesn't peek out of a bra yeah. um, but uh, then keep your pairs together. If you send us 20 knockers of different sizes, it takes a while when we're sending out a thousand a month to grab and open those up and go, is this a pair or not? So if you would fasten your pairs together by either taking a string and tying them together, do not tie these together like we used to say, because that cinches them up and then we've got to think bad yeah. thoughts while we're trying to open them to stuff them. Or take a safety pin and pin yep. the pair together, unstuffed again, and you can mail them to us. And the address is online at knittedknockers.org. And include the label of the yarn used because we have 30 approved yarns. And sometimes it can be a challenge. Was this an approved yarn or not? Mm -hmm. So that will help us out a lot. And finally, visit us on Facebook too. Like us there. And we've got all kinds of tips that we're going to start feeding out uh, about how to make great knitted knockers and we promise we won't overwhelm you with information. So um, another place you can find out more information, there's a video called The Journey of a Knitted Knocker and you can find that at knittedknockers.org on our how-to page. There's all these videos and we just appreciate you so much. I mean we couldn't do this without you and 
if you want to knit for your hospital, you'll need to size them there. But um, if you want to knit for um, local people, awesome. We love, love, love that. But if you just want to knit them, we will take them and we will get them in the hands of the women that can make it can make a difference too. And know that you truly are. Go to knittedknockers.org. Visit the testimonial page oh. if you want to have any idea. Bring your Kleenex with you um, when you view that or read those testimonies yep. and see what a difference you are making when you make knitted knockers and crocheted knockers. Yeah, whole variety of crocheted. We love the crochet. We love them all. As long as the right yarns used, got to use yep. the approved yarns. Yep. And finally, register with us if you haven't already at knittedknockers.org. Register as a knitter or crocheter and we will send you more information on ways to help. And we just can't thank you enough for making a difference.